Hi guys, Marilyn here. I just wanted to show you real quick something that I made yesterday and I will probably do a tutorial on how I came up with this envelope. I was actually watching videos online um, with um, exploding envelope tutorials and I always thought that that's something that I probably wouldn't have patience for. Um, mine is not an exploding envelope. This is a small gift that I made for my aunt. Um, she did my taxes for me, <laughs> so I like to do something nice for her. And so she likes to do scratch-off tickets. So I decided, oh, well, I'll make her a small little envelope and stuff it with a bunch of scratch-off tickets. So um, I found this paper at uh, Michael's, and it was actually a hot buy. And there's a lot of holographic paper in there, which is super cute. And... Um, so I decided, you know what, let me, let me give it a try. And so I went online and I saw that Lori Nunemaker had an envelope, which she provided a free SVG for. So I downloaded that one and for some reason, my attempt at putting them together for some reason, um, just, I felt like they were a little uneven and I wasn't sure if it was because of the, the tabs, because the tab there looks a little uh, bigger on the top and smaller on the bottom. And so that was one attempt there. Um, here was another attempt, and it just wasn't, with the score lines that were already there, it just wasn't coming together the way I, I wanted it to. So I said, well, you know what, let me, on a play on what she did, I decided to make myself another envelope. And... Of course, you know, I'm an obsessive um, crafter, so I see that tab on the right, and I see a tab on the left or on the bottom, but I don't see one on the left. So I felt like, okay, there's, you know, um, this one almost came out good, um, but you can see that it's not lined up on the edges right there on the bottom. So I decided to make one, create one myself in design space. And what I did is I totally just used shapes. So I used a square, turned that into a rectangle, uh, duplicated the rectangles, made them smaller, adjusted them. Um, I also, so this is what they look like when they're die cut in design space. This is my pattern here. This is what I created. And for all these little jagged um, um, edges, believe it or not, I um, enter, uh, inserted diamonds the diamond shape that's in the Cricut Design Space. I inserted all the diamond shapes and I connected them, then I welded them, and I placed them all one by one so I can get that effect from the um, the SVG that Lori Nunemaker had online. So, um, so this is what my pattern looks like when it's completely finished. I can definitely do a tutorial for that um, later today. But this is what my pattern piece looks like. Um, I don't necessarily need the score lines, even though you can s slightly see them. I did set the cut to the cut and score on vellum paper, so it really didn't make the score too too uh, prominent. So, but the thing is, is that if I can at least score this bottom part right there, and then um, fill that piece up. The rest of it will be easy to put together. So that's how I came up with my envelope. And it's strictly using shapes and strictly, um, that's it, pretty much. Rectangles and diamond shapes. So I scored the bottom piece here. So I'm going to go ahead and fold that up. Score it down a little bit. Okay. So since I have the bottom piece there, I'm just going to go ahead and fold these in. This is the easiest way that I saw to make this envelope. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and fold this side in. It's nice and even. And so now, when I put the envelope together, I have one already made here. You have one nice clean seam on the back, on the bottom. And then I have a little fold over flap on the bottom there. So I made several of these last night because I was like, oh, okay, well, my pattern worked. And then I have my little diamond shapes that cut that out. So 
So you just have the, the center seam and the bottom seam. So for me, with the lines, because I do tend to line things up, I'm not going to claim OCD um, because I have not been clinically <laughs> told that I have that. And I know that's a serious uh, thing with some people. So, um, But I am a little obsessive when I'm crafting, and those lines are a little straighter for me. So uh, this works. So these are little um, vellum envelopes that I made. With the little pattern that I created and then I decided to do a pocket but I don't like the way the pocket came out um, I could put um, some stuff in this pocket here and in the inside but I went a little further for my aunt's gift she likes to do scratch off tickets so I thought this would be a nice little thank you um, for her since she did my taxes for me and so this is what I came up with so I have this paper here that I found at Michael's and I put that on there, but I put some tape here and here underneath the cardstock. So this is a pocket behind this cute little rosette right here. And so that's a pocket there. And then here's a pocket in the back as well. So this pocket is here. And then I have this little die cut. It's a little diamond shape, which totally goes with the cardstock that I used for this. So then I went ahead and attached a penny for her scratch off tickets on there. I couldn't find a penny that said 2018, but she's got her little penny that she could use. So this is what I created. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and put her lottery tickets in there. And I bought a ton of them. So, I mean, some of them are different dollar amounts, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put these in there. But I also wanted to do the paper clip too because I have the little seam right there and I decided, well, let me get that paper clip and then cover up that seam with, with a little card, right? Um, I actually really like this hot pink one. So we're gonna go ahead and put the hot pink one on there. It kind of goes with the color a little bit. Okay. So there's that, little scratch off tickets. And then the bingo one, it's kind of big. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold that, put that in there. And then we have some other tickets we can go in here. Sorry guys, if I'm not in frame here. This is cute. So cute. I love this idea. So I'm going to go ahead and put her scratch off tickets in here. Mix it up a little bit. Got her single dollar ones. I got her five dollar ones, two dollar ones. All right. So there we go there. Put this in there. Got a couple five dollar ones as well. So nice little tickets, right? So we'll go ahead and put this inside the envelope here. Sorry guys. All right. Got the money machine here. We'll put that in there. And I know maybe the flap, the larger flap, is supposed to go um, on the back. But being that this is one solid color, I don't mind it being in the front with the seam in the back, with the shorter part in the back. Um, I always thought they were this way, so if you fold it over, you, have, you cover that spot. Um, I don't like it in the front, um, so that's why I have it this way. I know the one that uh, Lori had online for the free SVG the the little this part is here well I guess you can't really tell if it's in the front of the back because there's two seams mine does have a seam in the center which this does look like the back of the bag I don't mind that this part is in the front so um, I'm gonna go ahead and continue stuffing her little her little card thing here what I do with the bingo one oh I put the bingo one in there. 
So we'll go ahead and put that there. And we have another dollar one. Oh, and I also, you know what, the dollar ones I'm going to keep. We'll keep the dollar ones in the back. Right? So that's that. Isn't that cute? That is so adorable. And so this was a little die cut that I had, a little um, thinlet. And so is the thanks on the bottom there. So this is her little lottery thing. She's got her little penny to scratch off um, her cards. Isn't that cute? I love this. Oh, and then I also made her a little thank you card. This is an envelope. This idea I got, the envelope idea I got from Nurse Tara. Um, she's got tutorials online here. So I took a little um, cellophane, 3 by 5 or no, 3 by yes, it was a 3 by 5 And what I did is I inserted the same cardstock that's on the card, on the little envelope that I made her. Um, I put that in there and um, into the cellophane. Do I have my cellophane up here? I will show you if I do have it up here. Yes, I do. So I took the cellophane. That's these little envelopes here. I fit the card in there. It's a three by three envelope. These little envelopes I got from um, Michael's. They're three and a quarter by three and a quarter. They're little envelopes. That's the back side. And so I put the three by three card in here in the little envelope. And then I folded this over and then I taped, peeled off the seal and taped it to the card and then glued that on top of the envelope. Right? Oh, my nails look awful. So then I made kind of a little shaker and then I used a little die cut there. And then here's my little card to her inside of here. I did a little flip card. Okay. So I'm going to include this in her little exploding envelope here. And maybe we'll stick this in the inside. And then it will look cute on the outside. You know what? Let's try that. This is the first card I've ever done like this. And I think it came out adorable. So you know what? That might be too thick to put there. So we'll go ahead and leave it in the inside. So that is what I made my aunt. And isn't that so adorable? Super cute, right? So I'm going to do a video on how I created this envelope. Um, so if you like the, the clean seam in the back and the front there, um, like I said, I did, this is a rectangle here, another rectangle there. This was a rectangle. Oh, and then in order for me to make this curve, what I also did is I inserted a circle. I turned it into an oval. I attached it to this center piece, welded that together. Then I added diamonds, little diamond shapes, all one by one here. Then I welded that, and then I did that on the rectangles as well. This little flap here was one rectangle. I sliced it with the triangle there, slice that with the triangle there. And of course I did a small overlap so I can put my, my score tape in there. But I like the way they came out, but I love how this looks. That's a great little gift right there. So if she wins, she's gotta look out for me. <laughs> and then on the other side I put, um, the other side just has a little rhinestone on the bottom a little cheapy gemstone from Hobby Lobby but I did that on the back as well only so it would cover that indentation so and then she's got her little scratch off penny right there so I just wanted to show you guys real quick what I made it's super cute I hope you like it and I will do a tutorial on how I did the envelope thanks for watching